Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking it up from the topic of differentiation. And we are continuing of our series of questions on JEE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2011. And if you see the question here, it tells you, let f of theta the function in terms of theta is given to us as sine of tan inverse of sine theta upon root of cos theta. So this is the entire function f of theta given to us, where they have told us that theta lies between pi by 4, that is 45, and minus pi by 4, that is minus pi. And we have been asked what will be the derivative of f of theta with respect to tan. So basically we have been told that you need to differentiate this function f of theta with respect to tan theta and there are four options given to us. Let's figure them out. So if you see the four options that are given to us here, the options are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we need to figure out what will be the derivative of function f of theta with respect to tan theta. So when it is given to us that the derivative, you have to differentiate it with respect to tan theta. Let's try to convert our function f of theta in terms of tan. So if I see here f of theta, which is given to me as sine of tan inverse of sine theta by root of cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta, you know it is I can write using double angle formula as 2 cos square theta minus 1. So we have this idea with us. Now what I can do here is since I want to convert this f of theta in terms of tan to understand the function easier or to make the function easier what I will do is I will substitute this as let's say y. So what I am doing here is let y is tan inverse of sine theta upon root of 2 cos square theta minus 1. So here if you see when you have y as tan inverse, if you take this tan on the other side, it basically becomes tan y is sin theta upon root of 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now this is the idea for tan y and we already know tan y it if I write it in terms of right angle triangle, let's say this is 90 degree and this is angle y. Angle y is nothing but, or tan of y is nothing but opposite upon adjacent. So we already know tan y is nothing but opposite upon adjacent. And because of that, the opposite side, if I use the ratio here with this formula for tan, Opposite side basically becomes sine theta. So this part is sine theta. And adjacent side, if you see, it becomes root of 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now, here if I apply Pythagoras theorem, since it is a right angle triangle, we can find the hypotenuse here. Let's find the hypotenuse. So if I apply the Pythagoras theorem here, I get hypotenuse square is perpendicular square plus base square. Perpendicular, if you see, if this is perpendicular side, this is base. Perpendicular, we know it is sine theta, so it becomes sine square theta. Base, if you see, it is base square, so it is root of 2 cos square theta minus 1, the whole square. You get it here as sine square plus this becomes 2 cos square theta minus 1. It's sine square theta. 2 cos square theta, you can split it as cos square plus cos square minus 1. So sine square plus cos square theta makes 
one here because we are using the identity identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one plus cos square theta is this one. This gives you hypotenuse becomes here cos theta. And we are just using plus cos theta because theta is told in terms of minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. In the first quadrant, from 0 to pi by 4, we know cos theta is positive. And from 0 to minus pi by 4 also, in the fourth quadrant, we know all silver T cups. So cos theta here also is positive. So we are just writing plus cos theta here for the side hypotenuse. So hypotenuse comes out cos theta. Now if I write the function term, we have been told we got sin f of theta was sin of tan inverse of sin theta by root of 2 cos square theta minus 1. This was given to us and we substituted this entire expression as y. So we got this as sine y. And if you see sine y here, we already have the right angle triangle with us. Sine y, the idea for sine theta we have here is opposite upon hypotenuse. So if you use the idea of right angle triangle, that is opposite upon hypotenuse, or I can say perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So opposite, we know it as sine theta. Hypotenuse, we just figured out it is cos theta. Sin theta by cos theta turns out as. So now I am able to convert my function of theta, f of theta in terms of tan, and that comes out. So if I now just solve the question, which is asked to me that find the derivative of f of theta with respect to theta, or tan theta. If I am finding the derivative of f of theta with respect to tan theta, we are just finding the derivative of tan theta with respect to tan theta. And when I am differentiating my function of tan theta with respect to tan theta, the derivative of that is going to be because I am using the idea here. And if I want to differentiate x with respect to x, that comes out 1. Similarly, if I'm differentiating tan theta with respect to tan theta, it is going to come. So the answer we get here for the question that is asked to us, that was to find the derivative of f of theta with respect to tan theta, that comes out one here. And if you see the option that matches here with the question is A. So A is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions of differentiation where we have been given such a complex function and we have been asked to find the derivative of that function with respect to tan theta. So first of all, we figured out f of theta in terms of tan by converting or substituting this as y. We got tan y as sine theta upon root of 2 cos square theta minus 1. This is your opposite side. This is your adjacent side. By using Pythagoras theorem, we got hypotenuse as cos theta. And our function was sine of y. So sine of y comes out opposite upon hypotenuse that gave us sine theta by cos theta. So f of theta turns out tan theta. Once you get f of theta as tan theta, you just took the derivative of that with respect to tan theta. And, that comes out. and so we got our correct answer as function. I hope you have understood this question very well. I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWD. Thank you.